Hi, it's Sulfan. In this video, we're gonna continue our hand winch parts modeling series, and today we're gonna create part number 9. But before we begin, I'm gonna tell you that you can download the 3D model and the 2D drawing from the link in the description, so let's get started. Create a new part file using standard millimeters.ipt. Create a new sketch on the YZ plane. From this point, make a circle with 40 millimeters in diameter. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Select symmetrical option here and make the extrusion 25 millimeters. Then press enter. Select the XY plane from the origin folder here. Then create a sketch on it. Click project cut edge and make the projected object construction line. Then press F7 to slice the body. Using line command, let's make a path for the next step. Create an arc by using left click, and hold the last point of the line, and drag it to the next point. Then continue your line by releasing the left click button. Give the sketch dimensions. And then finish sketch. Create a sketch on the XE plane. Make a circle with 16mm in diameter, then finish sketch. Execute the sweep tool. Select this circle as the profile. Click on the path button here, and select this sketch as the sweep path, then click OK. Next we're going to make the rounding face at the end of this rod. Create a sketch on the XY plane. Click project cut edge and make the projected object construction line, and press F7 to slice the body. Make a circle here and give the tangent constraint with this line. Also make it horizontally aligned with this point. Make the circle 32 millimeters in diameter. We're gonna need these lines so make it back to normal line. Trim and delete the unnecessary object. The dimension is also got deleted, so make another one. Make a horizontal line here and turn it into a center line. Execute the revolve tool. The profile and axis already selected here. Select the cut option, then click OK. Go ahead create a sketch on this face. Using the polygon tool, make a square by changing the edge number to 4. Make this edge 20 millimeters. And just to make sure, add vertical constraint to these points. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Select the cut option in through all. Then click OK. Execute the fillet tool and select all of these edges here. Change the radius to 1mm, then click OK. That's it, part number 9 is done. Give it a try, if there is any question about this video, please let me know. See you on the next video.